Rogan? Yes, Scoop. Do you know what unlimited power looks like? I, I don't know, Scoop. What, what, what are you talking about? Oh, we'll see. <laughs> oh, my God. That is a shit ton of Scoopy snacks. Scoop, no. No, no, Scoop. You have it's unreached my real form. There's something oddly, yes! there's something oddly poetic. Oh, there's something oddly okay. poetic about how the fact back. that there's no music playing at the moment. Does that actually help add on? Yeah. See, 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 will be right back. Sorry, see, just be She'll be, she'll be right back though. But just, I'm sorry, I completely forgot about just seeing that Adonis walking towards you. So okay, so to jeez <laughs> with that slow one. So, so to update. Uh, what has happened is after after that last yes after that after. last session after being told just how many Scooby Snacks basically to catch up to speed Sammy because uh, I don't know if this was the game that you owned or another one they wanted a lot of Scooby Snacks for each and every gate this one wanted six hundred when we only had like I think two hundred. Yeah, it's really yeah. weird. It's like, for the most part, it's usually been, like, pretty lenient about how many Scooby Snacks each gate needed. It wasn't until, like, last session with Matt where they suddenly started to get a lot more strict to a point where we actually did have to backtrack to get any snacks we missed. Alright, so with that said, uh, let's feed the, let's feed that gated our Scooby Snacks and be on our way. Yeah. All ten of them. All two, eleven of them. Tw eleven. Because, yeah, basically, th this is where I fortunately managed to find a game genie code of some sort to basically... We're, it, we, we, had a good, we had a good run, two sessions of, you know, the, the vanilla experience, but we want to get into the game for what we want to enjoy it for, which is, you know, I, we want to just play the game and just idly collect them as, like, fun little coins a la Mario, not have to actually worry about, like, the currency of it, because it got really oh boy. stupid. Uh, oh, jeez, Shaggy, your oh, pants God. are on fire! <laughs> Yeah, uh, the gargoyle oh, no. set him on fire. Like Soinks, this is what ultimate power feels like. I got you, Reggie. Oh, oh, nice. That's actually pretty neat. Uh, so, uh, Sammy, so you said that you've had, a, you've owned one of these uh, Scooby games? Yeah, I own like one of these like on like, the PS2. Ironically enough, it looks very similar to this one. I don't know if like there were like two different ones. Uh, I know that there were three of them in total. There was this one, Night of a Hundred Frights. The next one would be Mystery Mayhem, which is like a which has Shaggy and Scooby I... pretty much going all Luigi's Mansion with the book. And the third one is Scooby Doo Unmasked, which is pretty much just Scooby Doo Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. This was the one I owned then. Oh, okay, I had then. Knights of Hundred Frights. Oh god. Yeah, Nine hundred frights, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you uh did you ever get far or beat the game? I didn't really Oh, his his butt just magically is not on fire anymore. That's great. He put it out. <laughs> I just had source like like I just had to close my eyes and Sorry then before I knew it I had I had no, back, I had no more this butt rush. Uh, uh, real quick, everything gone everything okay? Crisis, so I had to help. Uh, oh, wait, no, is she doing okay. better? As as yeah, as long as everything's okay. Yeah, everything's fine now. Okay. That's good. No worries. We'll ask about that later. For now, join join Shaggy and his uh, indomitable friend Scoob. <laughs> I forgot how Shaggy can lift him. Yeah, they yeah. have to. So what I miss? What well, the? not much really. Oh, not oh, not oh, again. Yeah, basically we were just going into detail about the the, the little cheat that uh, Logan and James had to pull off to help me out, which I am like grateful that like I'm grateful that you guys were willing to help me with that. I'm also surprised that you guys actually wanted to, because I figured like not for nothing. I figured after our last session it would have just like ex exasperated any desire you guys had to continue with this. Well, we already got so far enough into the game. I didn't want to want us to have to just end it just like that. So yeah, we literally went out of our way to find this code and. I mean, honestly, if we did have the spare time, we would definitely, you know, do what this game expects you to do, like, backtrack to all the other levels and try out the uh, invention that we actually got along the way to make more progress than we previously could and grab all those other Scooby Snacks. But, unfortunately, we don't really have that kind of time to kill, so we just decided to go ahead and hit the, hit the game, Genie. That's fair. <laughs> that's so that's actually, pretty much it, yeah. yeah. scooby actually breaking into graves... Dude, they've been doing that since season one. <laughs> yeah, they have. But I do want to go ahead and actually bring that up. Uh, kind of an interesting thing. So as you can tell, we have both uh, Sam. Yeah, we have both Sam and Celie oh, no. here. Oh, Funnily enough, we pretty much have our own like mystery oh. here, like the th like two boys, two girls, and me, the dog. Yes. <laughs> 
So I, I guess I do have. Don't yourself like that. <laughs> so I got, oh, the warp oh, gate is all down. Gate. I mean, look at I literally am the dog. Dog, here. dog, the warp gate. <laughs> I'm into it. I just want to take care of that spider. Okay. But I did want to ask uh, before we Sorry. continue on, um, what do uh, Seely Sand? Did you two have any like uh, like past experiences with Scooby Doo you'd like to share? Honestly, well, I, I grew, grew up, up with, with it. Yeah. I, I used to watch uh, Scooby Doo. Where are you on Cartoon Network all the time? Definitely. Likewise. Like ones. I grew up with Good a lot stuff. of it, and honestly, I only, like, remember owning the PS2 game, and also I owned, uh, Cyber Chase this, on the PS1. Oh, this is so oh, I was like, oh, oh. I mean, that's... Sorry, I haven't tried... I haven't played Cyber... No, you're fine. I haven't fine. played Cyber Chase, but... This, I mean... this is somewhat off-subject, but you know what I was thinking <laughs> thinking of the other day? Uh -huh. What's up? Um... The YouTube poop Simba now got a white castle. And I'm thinking of that part with Shaggy. Hey, it's Simba! Simba. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that a little bit earlier with like, yeah. the hypnotist guy as well. Wow, these incredibly and just, worthless Scooby snack boxes. Then he just walks <laughs> we're, having, we're having fun with it still. So. It just it fit the music where he just walks away. I just can't wait to be king. Do, 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 like, do. Don't mind me. I lost <laughs> interest. <laughs> Anywho, but yeah, no, by, by all by all, by all means, sorry to, to again really quick clarify for hype. Play as you want to play. Just know that you don't have to wait any, no more. The whole point. Of the code was just to have no more pressure with the gates. That's all. All right. That's well, all I did want to go it. through that because, like, the the hint sh the hint thing was sharing that, like, if you hit those switches in a certain order, you can get all the Scooby snacks in the crypt. If you get it in the wrong order, the pop up ghosts instead. I guess that uh -huh. there is something. One thing we'll go ahead and mention real quick regarding the um, the cheat that we're using. Technically, it has it so that we'll always be listed with the max amount of Scooby snacks. That being said, though, that does not count towards what you can get by collecting all the Scooby snacks. You still need to collect them all manually just to get all the uh, gallery pieces. Yeah. Which, I mean, we're, we were going to go out of our way for those anyway, so no harm, no foul at the end of the day. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think the only things I was wanting to go out of my way for were Oof. the uh, monster tokens, but yeah, that's something we can stand for later. Anyway, beyond this gate is our next boss, as well as... Rafni! Rafni! Oh no. Oh no. Rap coming, rap coming, rap rolling, rap rolling! Unlimited Scooby Power! <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad she landed on Scooby's back and she didn't first. My skin was beginning to lost and yeeted. You won't get away that easily. You think that was easy? Ray, you know how heavy she is? What sort of dramatic anime nonsense is this? <laughs> yeah. And now he's about to summon our next boss. The Green Ghost. Yeah, uh, Powerpuff Girls. Oh, I <laughs> well, I mean, not surprising, because, like, isn't... Like, I know Johnny Bravo is. Isn't Powerpuff Girls, like, technically sort of a quasi-Hanna-Barbera thing? Oh, yeah, no, they, they, those, they were always one. Okay. In fact, technically, Johnny Bravo and to some degree the Powerpuff Girls were pretty much made up until Hanna Barbera just got lit, more or less got meshed with Warner Brothers. Yeah. Anyway, what can you tell us about our fight with the Green Ghost? That's right, Powerpuff Girls is Warner Brothers. Mm -hmm. So basically, the gimmick with the Green Ghost is that, like, you see, Daphne's gonna open up these caskets. You hit the button right as the Green Ghost hovers over them, so it can start like sucking them up. Oh, huh, I thought okay. she was just like grave robbing for a second or not doing anything, and I'm like, thanks, Daphne, you're real help helpful right now. <laughs> I thought that's Whoa. what it was. I mean, honestly, say whatever you will about Daphne throughout the whole series. Like, this is probably the, the third most helpful she's ever been. Yeah. There we go. Maybe fourth. We'll say, this is also, I will say, like, as far as villains go, this is a pretty nice uh, design. Like, it's. Bye I remember bye. this. Guy. Oh, oh, that's okay. it. Okay. Bye. Looney Tunes yep. unto death. Okay. Well, I did it. I was about to say he was a very imposing. Oh, Daphne, don't look at me like that. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was yeah. say he was a very. She's scarier than There's the Green so Ghost. No. Uh -huh. Um. I, I was thinking. It, it was imposing. It was imposing too. design, but it was really the good. The Green Ghost isn't really a ghost. Uh, were you about to say okay? something? Well, what about <laughs> the Weeper? Red and Black Knight. Never Have been you better. Seen them as well? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about the rat garment. Those are all villains from our past. I don't like her Maybe. eyes. Oh, they're Maybe. freaking me out. I don't out. like her nose. Well, a lot of it has to she do with the fact that, like... Ugly oh, hello. From Cinderella. Well, the, the eyes that... The, the malls were just, like, really trying their best to capture the way that the characters looked in the old 60s show. Whether or not that they do a good job of it is really up to, you know, how well the graphics hold up. They did... Oh, boy, Ollie. 
Oh, and, oh, and also her sister. Easy, guys. Not sister, it's cousin. Cuz. Yep. So to catch uh, Seely and Sam up, uh, this is Holly, Daphne's cousin, and uh, her grandpa, the Professor Alexander Graham. He was about to unveil a new invention. He went missing. We're investigating where he went to and why all these monsters are popping around the manor he lives in. Evil. And like I said before, good looks would certainly run in the family. Yeah, it seems to. They look almost exactly yeah, alike. <laughs> and they sound it sound almost exactly alike. Maybe there's something yeah. here we can use. Good voice genes of having the same voice as Grey Delisle. <laughs> yeah. Also, what the heck's that with that buck two Scooby's rocking right the bo oh. Huh? Underwater winners racket. Microwave safe. Ice cube tray. <laughs> okay, what the heck is the professor even inventing these days? And then we got this. And this umbrella is going to be like the power up we end up walking away with. Well, wait. Uh oh. Daphne. God damn it, Daphne. Dang it, Daphne. <laughs> Not again. Raleigh. Danger prone to a fault. <laughs> yeah. Here we go again. <laughs> You said it, Scooby. Even, said even it. Scooby's just like, yeah, I've dealt with this before. I'm just done. So, so basically, the power up that we got from this is the umbrella. First, let me kill all this next. Basically, when you hold the jump button after a double jump, you can pretty much glide. Oh, so you, it's pretty much kind of like how uh, Spyro's glide worked in the Hero's Tale. Which, mm -hmm. I mean, especially for a game like... Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, don't worry, oh, oh, it's no. just like... That, that's kind of like a little tutorial gap. And actually, I'm going to hold off for a bit because... Oh, God. Because <laughs> that area is a one-way shortcut back to the front of the Mystic Manor. Mystic Manor. I am going to backtrack a little bit because there is one section we can go ahead and use the umbrella on. Okay. Oh, I'll, well, oh. then uh, I'll also, demonstrate for us, Hype. Oh, also, uh, James, I also have a... Uh, as well, uh, Hype, how long do we get to that part? Uh, do you mean the part that I was just talking about? It's just in this next room. Okay, uh, then I'll say my thing, but, uh, uh, James, some interesting breaking news has just hit. What's that up? I will share, I'll share after this. Okay. So let's well, I mean, see it's what just, you can do with it. It's just an extra playable room. You don't have to worry too much about, like, distracting me. Uh, okay. Uh, ba uh, Bra uh Tweet just put out that, uh, we are, o we are already, uh... We just nailed, as of today, got a, a new update to the Sega Genesis uh, Nintendo Switch app. Oh, what game did they add? Uh, they added five new games. Oh, uh, to, to Wait, which my friend so, so are they? So is it really? Are they released like right now, or is yes, it going to be right a this second? Game? Oh well, then shit. Uh, don't spoil it for me. I will uh, download. I will download that update as we speak. Okay, and, I'll, and we'll hear his blind reactions to what the games are, but I will say that the minute that... Just the fact that there's already five games as opposed to the one my friend immediately said, Sega, continuing to do what Nintendo don't. I mean, to be fair, it's also because the Genesis games by nature are not quite as um, Difficult. intensive Intensive as, like, it's a 4 or e even to some extent Super Nintendo games. Yeah. Yeah. Also, wait, were we in this room before? Oh, we there, were. Basically, shortcut. It was, it was just a shortcut. It was a shortcut, and there is a room in the crypt that does make, like, pretty liberal use of the umbrella, and I wanted to use it as an excuse to basically, like, flex on it. The, the thing with the umbrella is that, like, in addition to, like, gliding, whenever you're above, like, gusts, it can actually propel you up. Hmm. Interesting. Um, you know what? While, we're, while Scooby's at, doing the old Mary Poppins routine, um, <laughs> whoops, Seely, uh, Sam, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reiterate a question I brought up in an earlier session we did of this, um... As far as, like, episodes or even, heck, even, like, monsters that you come to know throughout the Scooby-Doo franchise, which one sticks out to your minds the most? Can you repeat the question, please? Um, if you can remember any Scooby-Doo monsters, which one sticks to your memory the most? Um, Frankenstein. Frankenstein? I, you mean, oh. like, I meant Scooby-Doo monsters. Yeah, well, that's the, what there I'm, is a, yeah, that's, yeah a, I'm talking about there was the old a Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Yeah, there was a Frankenstein monster in one of the episodes. Oh, uh, okay. Honestly, hmm, that's so that's so that's so vague. I can't even like I can't even remember like what. Which I don't know talking. why I remembered Frankenstein about monsters. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, I, I want to re real quickly correct myself. Say yes, I know Frankenstein wasn't the mo wasn't the monster's name. It was the creator's name. Oh yeah, but um, actually another thing about it, that just something makes me think back to freaking um the like the take of Dracula they had in the uh, Reluctant Werewolf. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Like that movie's a piece of shit, but honestly, he, the, Dracula's probably one of the better aspects of it, just for oh. how much he's hammed the performance. Well, of course. Like usually, like the hammier the Scooby villain, the better. You know, case in point, Tim Curry and Witch's Ghost. 
I was watching a movie yeah. with Tim Curry the other night. Really? Yeah. The Christmas Beauty and the Beast. Oh, that's uh, right. He's the organ. Yeah, uh, Let's 4K. <laughs> Jack oh, no, uh, I can't remember. I can't quite remember how he sang that, but it was really funny. I, he, he was like dead, deadpan, or is that the right word? Yeah, he. Was, I guess he, it's like <laughs> very, very sarcastic too. Jack, the Jack, a little sour, a little flat. Maybe. So I'll go ahead and uh, interrupt real quick, and because I just checked out the uh, games that just came popped up, and uh, not a bad lineup as far as I'm seeing, like. We got Dynamite Heady among them, and <laughs> this is this is honestly interesting uh, for hype and Logan's sake. Uh, Toe Jam Mineral is one of them. Oh, yeah. nice. And they and they gave us Altered Beast. Ooh. Yeah, probably one of the more ancient of Sega's uh, beat 'em up uh, stuff. Fair. Uh, uh, if not you like, surprising. If you, like, if you like shoot 'em up stuff, they gave you Thunder Force two. Oh, the oh, Force, oh, 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 oh. Force still oh. my fave. <laughs> Sorry, Force I, still I, my I, fave, but it's good to have two. I backpedaled there because I forgot, like, it, you can tell in the background there, now there's going to be platformer, th there's going to be platforms that are affected by, like, the, the rising tide here. Ah. Oh. And, the, okay, and then so the, that's what that one is. It's, it's cool, it's cool uh, game conveyance. Also, and I don't know what sort of Vermilion was again, it's been a while. It's like, it's like some sort of, it's a really weird, like, RPG sort of thing, not unlike, um... I feel like I should know exactly what type, like type of RPG. or Final Fantasy? Uh, f like a mix of the two, actually. Okay. Like, you have, like, like your real-time segments literally are just not too dissimilar from, like... Or, heck, maybe, like, even, like, East. Hmm. I see what you're trying to do, Hype. Do you think you can do it? Unlimited movie snacks! No! I don't know why Do I have to ring it up again? Okay. Just go back to what you're doing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, so what did that do? Whoop. Okay, well, that that thing was all the way up. You can't pull that kind of thing on me, game. Oh uh, well, well. Okay, the platform's still down. Good. It, it basically lowered down those two crow's nests. Oh, that's good. Oh, so then we can just continue on the normal path. I see. So you mm -hmm. would have had to have gone back anyway. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Um. So beyond that, uh, Seely, uh, do you have a particular favorite of the Scooby-Doo movies? I don't. I, I don't have a particular Aww. favorite. Uh, do you have any that you remember seeing? It's been a long time. I can't remember the last one I've seen. I could have sworn we had you there when we were watching all the Japanese ones. Or at least some of them. Like, do you remember, like, watching Zombie Island or Witch's Ghost? Um, barely. Well then, I think we're due. I think we're due for another movie night sometime. I suppose I so. would not object. Zombie Night is classic and fun. It's, and it's easily. I'll still say it's easily the best Scooby Doo movie of the lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if nothing else, the best of that quadrilogy. Right, because I, I I do still remember enjoying Witch's Ghost. Mm -hmm. um, but now, but I think in terms of like, I think in terms of plot, if you can call the whole thing plot, like and stuff. Yeah, I think zombies. I think Zombie Island is the best. Easily. I agree. And I think I already brought it up during the last session just that, you know, how that movie's great, and then the live-action movie tried to do it again, but didn't quite hit the mark. It didn't, yeah. know, what, didn't know what to do with it. Uh, honestly? Uh, wait, was that actually a... Darn. Oh, no, we gotta do the whole thing again, because the whole thing's not gonna be rotated the same way. Nope. Hang on. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I guess a little bit of time is... So, was there actually, like, set pieces and stuff, like, they wanted to actually, like... They want to just try and make just a straight up, straight live action remake of Zombie Island. Or... No, it, I don't think it was mostly that. It was just I'm really curious as to what it is because apparently, from what I understand, that first Scooby Doo movie actually went through like a very interesting type of development hell. Hmm. Well, I know, I know the big thing was that James Gunn almost wanted to try and just make it rated R, or James Gunn just wanted to make a more cynical look on it at one point. Why isn't this bunker? There it goes. I keep, for, I keep forgetting that that the original movie was from uh, James Gunn. Yeah, oh yeah, he wrote it. both of the live action movies. Wow. And wasn't it and I forget who, was it was it Sean Connery or was it uh, who was it who's gonna be the original villain before Rowan Atkinson? Tim Curry. Yeah, Tim, Tim Curry. Curry. Oddly oh. enough since we were just talking about him. <laughs> right, that's right, and then the fun fact with that, Celine and Sam you've didn't already hear is that Tim Curry loves Scooby Doo, hence his involvement here. He would have loved to be the villain, except they told him that Scrappy Doo was gonna be in the movie. <laughs> And he, wow, he, ab off. he abhors Scooby. Scrappy. Yeah, he hates him just about as much as James Gunn does. Hence that whole thing. And I wonder if, I wonder if they would have allowed, 
I wonder if they told him that fact. Like, I wonder if they told him that the whole thing was supposed to be just a big middle finger to Scrappy, or if he, or if they just said, "Oh, then there's Scrappy." I'm out. <laughs> you know what? I would not oh, be surprised as as if it, conversation. I feel like it probably would have been like I probably would have been like that because I feel like if he had the time to listen to like the whole pitch, he would probably reconsider. But I do like that one idea. It's like don't even finish the sense. Just the second you say Scrappy, he's like, no. How about no? I'm out. You're out. I'm out. You're fired. I'm not the one who hired. I'm, I'm you're, you're, for, the, for the sake of that idea alone. <laughs> no, no, never. Better yet, I'm fired. Good day. <laughs> you daft punk! I retire early. So do we just need to get on top of the ship, or do we have to go to that other fishing boat? Um, basically. Okay, back we go. Yeah, because I... You know, considering we're, we're, we're more or less maxed out on Scooby Snacks, do we really have to go to our... Uh, out of yeah, our I, I told him to have fun. Ones? I told okay, him to have fun with this part. The, the, just do what you gotta do. Scooby, you can... Gee, Scooby... You, you know you we can't are... eat, all, eat any more Scooby snacks, right? Don't tell me how to live my life. Raggy, Don't tell you me what to do. are being... Raggy, you are being of unremitted power. Should know, Redder. Okay, I, I forgot how to... <laughs> that was just a weird fever dream I had back I... in the 90s. 